Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk to you about sharpening long, flexible blades utilizing my Wicked Edge sharpening system. Earlier this year I had made a video on sharpening a long, flexible blade for cutting presunto or uh, Portuguese cured ham. And since then I've gotten a few submissions asking me about sharpening or any specifics that uh, users would need to keep in mind when sharpening their own fillet or long flexible blade knife. I was in Portugal uh, a couple weeks ago, was lucky enough or fortunate enough to have some friends uh, take me fishing and we caught some red snapper and while we were preparing it I was utilizing their knives. Their knives were not very sharp, made the task a little bit more difficult, not that I'm very good at uh, filleting fish to begin with. And I thought about it and said, you know what, this would be a good time when I get back home to sharpen my own fillet knife and at the same time show the process to those that are interested. So if you want to learn more about sharpening long, flexible knives such as this fillet knife, stay tuned. So a couple things to keep in mind right off the bat when setting up your fillet knife or long flexible blade knife on the Wicked Edge systems. I'm using a Wicked Edge 130 for this demonstration and keep in mind that one of the first things I did was set the tension all the way to max because we are dealing with a very thin blade here. The other thing is the Wicked Edge systems have a height or spacer tool that I tend to use with all of my knives before sharpening to get the height adjustment correct. But I decided to bypass that because if I did use the spacer even at the lower or the highest setting, it still wasn't enough clearance looking for about 5 eighths of an inch exposed here so that my stones can glide on that blade and get it sharpened. So I had to eyeball it and just get it as high as I can exposing as much as I can as I stated about 5 eighths of an inch. The other consideration here was the placement of my knife. Now what I did is mount it once again as per Wicked Edge's recommendation. I wanted basically when the blade starts to curve here is where I set it up and mounted it. And being so that if I were to place this knife, let's say a little bit further and have the blade up here, I would have a lot more give or a lot more play in the front or the tip of this knife. And instead, as you could tell here, the flex is all in the back. And uh, once I get into the sharpening process, I'll show you where that advantage comes in. Since I do have a good edge on this fillet knife, I'm just going to go with the 1000 grit stone and work my way up to 1500 and end there. I'm not looking for a nice finished polished edge here. I'm looking for something that's going to be a little bit toothier and grip on to those scales and bones as I'm trying to slice them off. So finishing up at 1500 should be more than enough for the edge that I need on this fillet knife. Now the angle that I'm using and set up here is 20 degrees. I found that with my Sharpie. And uh, once again, if you want to know more about that setup process, I have made other in detailed videos that you can uh, take a look at. And I will place those links in the description below. So be sure to uh, check it out. And 20 degrees seems to be uh, very typical or a very typical angle for these longer flexible uh, fillet type knives. Now the advantage of the placement uh, here, just showing you a little bit of a demo. If I did need to create more of a burr here and need it to work, let's say with the 800 grit, uh, what's good about this placement is, as I stated, in the front, there isn't much of a give. In the back, where there is a give, if I really needed to create that burr, I would just hold on to the handle, giving me much less play and being able for me to get that bevel back where I need it to be. Now that we have our knife all set up and ready to be sharpened, thousand grit stones are on there. The next thing that I want you to think about is the pressure. We do not need to apply a lot of pressure. Just gliding across, nice, light, even pressure. There will still be a little bit of play and give in the handle. That is not a big deal. You will still get the results that you need for a super sharp razored edge. Okay, so we'll have the even pressure. We're going to start up high and work forward towards the tip of the knife. Nice, light, even pressure. Okay, that's feeling pretty good there. 
pretty sharp probably good to go where it is right now but since i do have the 1500 grit stones i'm going to go ahead and give a couple passes with the 1500 stones so remember nice even light pressure down and forward towards the tip of the knife Okay, there we go. It's feeling great there. Go ahead and remove this. Nice sharp knife here. I have some post-it notes. Rip off a piece of paper here. Let's check out this sharpness. Super light pressure going through this paper like warm butter. So bottom line, if you were wondering or interested in the information if the Wicked Edge system could handle long, flexible blades such as this fillet knife, hopefully I was able to convey enough information in this video to put you at ease and to give you a concrete answer, which is absolutely yes.